Hi, this is Ben from CADIT in Sydney. We'll take just a moment to introduce you to the next generation of CAD file interoperability and cost savings for designers and engineers. Imagine a world where your CAD software isn't limited in the binary proprietary file formats that it can write to or read from. Transmagic CAD translation software can read and write CAD files from a number of different formats from CATIA version 4 and 5, Autodesk Inventor, Unigraphics, Pro Engineer, as well as all your ASUS, SAT, and Parasol based systems are included, and for this demonstration, we'll just select the CATIA version 4 file. We'll select this one. And it reads real quick. And that's because Transmagic are strategic partners with DISO systems, as well as Autodesk and a lot of the other top CAD vendors, to bring you the most accurate CAD translation possible. The little box here says that the file contained hidden entities. That was because our file settings for CATIA version 4 included reading the no-show entities, read no-pick entities. We could have just as well deselected those options and not had them come through in the initial translation, not had that box, but we, we wanted it for this demonstration, so we canceled that. And we'll show you the hidden entities, we'll show you the vertices. And we see that our legacy wireframe and vector data all came through cleanly. And I did that um, because there's some other nice analysis features that come bundled with Trans, uh, Transmagic that I would like to demonstrate as well. It's very easy to navigate in uh, Transmagic. We have a typical orbit, zoom, and pan functions. I usually like to leave it on pan because then I can use the left mouse button for pan. The, the middle mouse button uh, will let me orbit and the scroll wheel for zoom but you can work how you like. It's all adjustable and you can, you can change it how you like. When the first analysis function that I'd like to demonstrate inside Transmagic, you have uh, ability to create measurements. We want to measure, for instance, the distance from one vertex to the other, uh, internal to the part. So we just make sure that our filter selection is on vertex and drag a dimension from one vertex to the other. And we've created a dimension. It's a bit, a bit buried in the part, but that's no problem. We can just uh, switch to wireframe mode, put that dimension wherever we want, go back to shade, and just move that dimension wherever it is we, we would like to have it. Another uh, nice analysis tool that uh, I'd like to demonstrate is the bounding box uh, functionality of Transmagic. A bounding box is handy because it shows a stock size so that we know what it is uh, for a part, what kind of material, what the size of the material that we would need if we wanted to cut this before we've ever even brought it into our CAD system. We already have a stock size and it's just easy to, just as easy to remove that again if we select it and we just hit delete. Another handy uh, analysis uh, function of Transmagic, mass properties. So we calculate a volume of the part before we even bring it into our CAD system again. We can also look at the weight if we select whatever material it is that it's made from. We can even add a custom material here with a custom density so we can check it out and we know what it is that we're looking at in case we need to make up a quotation quickly or otherwise um, just increase the efficiency of how we're working. Another handy analysis tool that I personally like from Transmagic is creating cutting planes. And cutting planes let us look at the internal geometry of a part just by selecting the axis that we want to cut against. Uh, we can remove that cutting plane again by again toggling the axis key. Uh, we can drag along the primary axis vector uh, that cutting plane locate it wherever we need to look at the part what it, wherever it is that we want to see into it. It's also very good for presentation work. We can add multiple cutting planes all simultaneously. We can rotate the cutting plane along the complementary axis and create exactly that cut view that we're looking for. Create a screen dump, whatever it is that we need for our presentation. Of course, the greatest advantage of having Transmagic translation software is that it can translate. And the file formats that it can translate to uh, are numerous, not just the CATIA version 4 and 5 like we demonstrated here, but also Pro Engineer, Unigraphics, Autodesk Inventor, as well as all your 
ASASAT and parasolid-based systems are supported. We also support a number of mesh-based um, technologies, for instance, finite element analysis, FEA packages like uh, Abacus, Algor, and STL, stereolithography for rapid prototyping, are all exported from, uh, from within Transmagic. Cadet.net is uh, the local business representative for Transmagic software here in Australia and you can contact us if you have any questions. We would be more than happy to demonstrate how Transmagic translation software not only can increase the efficiency of your engineering department but also open new doors of business opportunity uh, in the ability to communicate with the various CAD systems and bring the data across into your into your business uh, reliably and I thank you for taking the time to listen